most of us have been there. Maybe if you've got a friend who's really lucky, but uh, you probably have found yourselves feeling like you're doing all the right things, eating right, exercising, and you're not getting any results. There could be a lot of reasons why you're not losing weight. And Dr. Meredith Maxwell, a family medicine physician at Turo Infirmary, joins us with more on that. Um, we hear it all the time, I guess, sleep. And I'm those of us on the morning show struggle with getting enough sleep, but sleep's a big factor. Yes, yeah, sleep de deprivation can really put your hormones out of whack. It can make you lose willpower. It can make you be more hungry all the time. Um, it's a really important factor in losing weight and staying on track with your weight. And a lot of people do not realize this. You know, we hear it all the time. D do you buy into the theory that water is a big part of it? Oh, huge, huge part of it. It not only raises your metabolism, it helps you burn calories, it, um, it makes you feel full, it makes your body more effective during workouts. So it's, it's, it's such an important part, and a lot of people, what they do is they'll stock up on water right before they go to bed, and then they're up all night. Right, right. They don't want to go, you know, it should be throughout the day and, you know, try to cut off your water two hours before bed. All right, let's talk about what, let's talk about what we're eating. Let's talk about the good stuff first. What, what should we be eating? You should be eating good fats. And the reason why is it helps your body absorb nutrients better. It makes you more full at certain times. And the bad fats can actually work against you. All right, so let's let back up. The good fats, peanuts and that sort of thing, um, nuts. And more like avocado, um, you know, natural oils, not the coconut or the tropical oils, but those kinds of things, almonds, um, the good fats. The bad fats would be like coconut, palm, um, fried foods, those kinds of okay, things. But that's interesting, almonds over peanuts. They're well, I mean, it's it's half dozen which way or the other, but, but you know, I think almonds are better I'm, than peanuts. I'm a news guy, Dr. <laughs> Meredith. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick nits. I, I know, so I Some know. of the bad stuff that you mentioned, the, the fried foods, yeah. and I, we know what the bad stuff is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Is there any hidden food that seems like it's good? Well, I mean, anything that says fat-free, I mean, you want to go towards the, no, the all-natural if you can, possibly. And then avocados can make that really creaminess that you're, you're, you're missing. And you are a believer in something called mindful eating. What's, what's that? I am, we're always in a hurry. And we don't pay attention to eating. So we're eating in front of the TV, we're eating at work, we're eating while we're, you know, doing something else, and then all of a sudden our food is gone. We're not listening to our bodies. Am I full? Am I eating slowly? Am I enjoying the food? Am I listening? Am I, you know, the sensations can really help you decrease what you're eating. Well, you made about 10 points there, and I'm, I'm scoring negatively on about eight of them. <laughs> I'm going to have to be more mindful. It can also help your, your hormone levels, your cortisol levels, your stress levels. So we need to just slow down and think about each bite that we're, we're putting into our mouths. Maybe th th the way you can get started is just think about the first three bites, and that's it. When you're sitting down to eat, and that can really get you started in a good place. Gotcha. Dr. Meredith Maxwell, thanks, as always, for those tips. There shall be no eating here on the morning show <laughs> because we can't conccentrate. I think that's what that meant. No, so, <clears throat> anyway, that's not what she meant. We can still eat. We just have to be mindful when we're doing it. So I shouldn't be eating right now while I'm on TV.